Good morning, Kids Zone. It's Pastor Amy. I hope that you are having a great weekend and that you've been able to get outside and enjoy the sunshine. Pastor Steve is going to talk to us today about something that I think is pretty amazing. Would you like to know what that is? I hope so, because I'm going to tell you. He's going to talk to us about water. Yep, water. Now, some of you know that's my absolute favoritest drink ever. It's also really fun to swim in, and it's fun to play in when it's frozen, and it does a lot of really good things for the earth. Well, today I thought, because I like art so much, why don't we do another art project? This time, we're gonna let water do some magic. Are you ready? Here we go. I used markers, watercolor pencils, Q-tips, and water. Imagine your blank paper is the world. There is nothing there, no life, no color. It is empty and dead. Suddenly, a river begins to flow through the empty world. I made my river with a blue marker. The river begins to flow deeper and faster. I used a different colored marker to add swirls. Look what happens when you add water. To make my river fuller, I used a watercolor pencil to fill it in a little. You could do the same with watercolor paint or markers. I used watercolor pencils to add green to the empty space. I added even more green, then I painted the empty space with water. Then I added some rocks to the banks of the river with black and brown watercolor pencils. I know that where there is water, things grow, so I began to add some bushes near the river. I also really love trees, so I used my markers to add one to my paper world. There are beautiful flowers outside my house, and since they make me smile, I added some here. Of course, I had to add some California poppies because they're my favorite. Then I filled up my world with even more plants and flowers. This open space looks a little bit like my backyard right now. I think it's time to mow the lawn. I used a Q-tip to give everything a final wipe down with water. Isn't it magical what a little bit of water can bring to life? Well, kids, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope that you have fun experimenting with watercolors or markers and water and Parents, if you don't have paintbrushes, that's okay. As you can see, Q-tips do a great job. Have fun creating your worlds, everyone. I love you, and I'll see you next week. Bye.